Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to another Man 12 Online game. Today we got the Philadelphia Eagles and the Super Bowl champion New York Giants. Man, I love that. I love that. But um, to the game here, I'll talk about the uh, Super Bowl a little bit later. But um, you see here, I, I can already tell from this third down that I knew I was up against. I had to do stuff on first and second down because I was going to get this shit defense on third down where he drops back 10 people. And I thought I had Y open, but he was there. He made a nice user play in it. And all of a sudden, I turned the ball over, and I give him field goal range as soon as he comes out. So, not good. But I do knock him. I, I think I don't think Chad Henry does, has a good leg. So, I think I knocked him out because he went front on fourth down here. First of all, I almost picked the ball off of Antrell Roll. So, that should not even... This play should not even happen. But I end up getting the pick here at Roll, and I stop him. Even though it was a fourth down, I lost yards on the pick. I'll take it. Very next play, I run a screen. I realize he's like diving a safety in every single play, so I figured I'd drop a screen on him really quick. He did forget the screens for the rest of the game, but I did get a huge, huge one off here. 75 yards, as you can see. Two plays later, fade route to Hakeem Nix, get the touchdown. That was really the only. I thought I could work more fade routes in this game, but I kept on throwing them to Namdi Asuan, which is something you don't want to do. If you're going to run the fade route, throw it against Cromarty or uh, Samuel, whoever's playing there. And then right away here, get another pick here, because. He was doing some hard up. He thought he could get the throw off, but I played man that play. And Angel Roll was playing safety. Got the pick. Brandon Jacobs comes out. There's a nice little four yard run. And then next play, Mario Manningham deep all the way for a touchdown over the safety. I don't even know what the safety is, but just burned him. Of course, Manningham, the Super Bowl hero. And look, at, I don't think you expected that. I made the play with Mukamara. Jumped in front of the pass from Riley Cooper. Going for a touchdown, 21 nothing Giants. How about that? So, you know, I, I suck at holding big leads. That's a problem I have for, like, absolutely no Unless the person is just really not on my level at all. And then a huge third down here. And not only does he get it, but his guy blocks as soon as the throw, um, ball's thrown, which is unbelievable since I never get that. But, yeah, he get, um, somebody blocks from McCoy. McCoy goes way upfield. He's trying to get the field goal range. I'm not even sure he's in it or not, but he tries to go deep for Deshaun Jackson, but Corey Webster was there the whole time. He made the pick really easy for me since he just moved out the way. And then um, he fumbles the ball. Deshaun Jackson forces a fumble, but Kenny Phillips picks up the ball. That's like the only good play Kenny Phillips made the whole play. And then here, um, I think I had X open on the, on the left side, but I didn't see it because he wasn't running all the way up. And then here, I, I took the bait there because I thought I had Ballard open. I, I did um the slants. Um, Ballard ended up open, but he was playing underneath Ballard and made a good play. And this is what I mean. I, I don't hold leads for some reason. I just do sh dumb shit. Like, they're in a pick up 21 nothing. And for some reason, this game is so momentum-based. It's not even funny. So, he takes it in for a touchdown, of course. So, And then um, he pauses here, so it's a nice little break. I went to get I got a Gatorade to drink. I'm like, I was kind of thirsty. It's like, right, I'll take a little break here. And um, I figured this game might take a while. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. I, I honestly don't think I have in the bag, but I do almost get a... That was just a big drop by Akeem Nix. But I get it right back because he realizes after this... And, of course, my guy gets injured, first of all. Jonathan Goff is, like, out for the game. Gets a concussion. You could tell by, like, him holding his head. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just assuming, but still. It's a concussion as far as I know. Then, um, here, this is huge. Knocks me out of field goal range, I think. No, no, I don't think this... I, I went right back in though with Jake Bauer. But yeah, by the way, he he did not um he called fair catch every single punt since after that. Then here on third down, I try to get rid of it and I do, but someone is holding on the play. I mean, it's bad enough that I didn't even get any protection, but McKenzie holds anyways with like one second left in the play. And this is a huge call for him, and he decides he'll give me the third and sixteen because he's not gonna rush me at all, so yeah, I, I forgot about that, so I didn't see that one coming, so all of a sudden I'm like, wait, no one's coming at me. So, I started moving around here. I'm looking for somebody to get open. At least get into field goal range, like I said. I saw A there, but A cut right before I was going to throw it to him, so I was like, ah, shit. And everybody was just running so deep underneath that one guy, so I had nothing to do. Then I ended up getting sacked, which isn't really a bad thing, because I was going to have to punt it anyway. So, I punt it, ends up going to the end zone. Almost stopped it, though, but... Now, son, he's got the ball down 21 7. He has a chance to do something, but he gets hit while making a throw. An intro roll makes the pick, and I'm looking to try to return this, and then all of a sudden I get another penalty. Yeah, that's great. You know, whenever I try to start something in this game, I just got the penalty. Not good. 
But hey, I got the ball. I'm up 21-7. If I can make a play here, I'm up 28 to 7. Hopefully, we can hold that before the half. So I almost get sacked here, but I do get out to a mod rash and watch these moves. Sig. And I'm gonna make a zag, and I'm going in for the touchdown. 28-7. Quick play there. But speaking of quick plays, he gets the kick here. I was gonna try to go back. I probably should just went up and tried to make the tackle. And all of a sudden he goes for the touchdown. See what I mean? I don't I I'm not gonna hold any leads, man. I'm not. I'm not. 28-14 now. Just when I had I had that momentum, like I said, it's so important. I had it back on my side after the big play, but I just coughed it right back up, and, you know, I'm trying to return it. And instead, I lose Lil Blackman for the game. I mean, he's rated like a 68 as far as cornerbacks, but, oh, shit, I had B open. That's why I just realized. And instead, I was running a screen, so that didn't really work out. And then I'm I'm, I'm trying, I'm just kind of thinking I might run out the ball for the hack. I don't really want to give it to him. I don't want to lose any points here. I'm not even sure how far I could go. Then third down, no one's open, really, as far as I can tell. So I take a sack. I'm like, all right. You know, if you want the ball, have the ball. And then first play, he calls it a screen on the side I'm playing defense on. And he's got a wide open screen. He runs out of bounds smartly so he can save the clock. Then LaShawn McCoy, he had a pretty big game despite um not really getting the ball at all. And then um here, this, uh, this should have been a pick. Kenny Phillips did not play a good game at safety. And Show Roll did, but Kenny Phillips did not. I could have got a pick there to end this drive instead. He runs it. He doesn't get any yards, which brings up the field goal. And as you can see, he hit the upright, but still got it in somehow. No listen. This one will be an explosive matchup. The Eagles and the Giants have been NFC East rivals for a long, long time. So that means they are as familiar with one another as they can possibly be. We've seen these two teams produce some classic games, and they usually have some sort of playoff implications. This one really should be a classic. Good call, Chris. It looks like it's going to be one of those classic Giants-Eagles games. To the Super Bowl halftime show. Well, halftime show about the Super Bowl. First of all, the Hail Mary was really, really close. I mean, I, I was like, did Gronkowski really just die? I'm about to kill myself. And I'm speaking of Gronk. Apparently, he's out in the club partying after the game, which is good for him, but, you know, he could have altered the game. I'm not saying it could alter the good or bad, but his ankle could definitely alter the game if it was better. Then, um, the Welker drop, I'm not even going to call it a quote-unquote drop because it's really Brady's bad throw. No way to put it. He had Welker open, and he kind of messed up the play. He was open, like, and he was open. Then, um, the Giants are lucky for getting those fumbles. Eli to Manningham. I, I put that on Eli because Eli makes those tight throws. Even on that final drive, he's been making those tight throws all season long. I Manningham made a great play too, obviously. Great play from Manningham, but Eli has been amazing all season long. Props to him. He definitely deserved a Super Bowl MVP. Although I, I think Justin Tuck should have gotten a share of that thing because he had, including the um, intentional grounding safety, he had three sacks in the game, which is really, really good. And they came at key times, like the one on the third down. The safety, he made some key plays. And then um, the Giants win the Super Bowl. <sighs> Obviously, like I don't know how many people expected that. I sure as fuck didn't. And, um, yeah. To the game, huge third down converted to come out of the gate here for him. Very next play, nothing here. Whoop. Michon, Lashawn McCoy makes a little whoop and goes all the way for a touchdown. That did not sit well with me because I thought I had that play gotten up pretty good. Instead, no one. Everybody just stuffing their face in the middle of the field. And he goes for two. And I don't think Madden was telling me to play um go for two defense. Like I don't know why. I bet I bet if Madden didn't tell him to do that. He would have never done that. Just like um whatever. Then um he jumps my um play action play. I had Hakeem Nicks kinda open on the left side, which sucks. So brings up a third down and five and I try to go deep and once again Hakeem Nicks has been open a lot. I didn't take him, so I took Ballard, try to get a body on body. Didn't work. He comes back after the punt. Very next play, he goes for the lead. Can you believe it? He goes for the lead, and now then he's up three. After I had this game all game long, I just gave it up. And then on third down and nine, I've been blowing on third down. Like I said, I haven't been doing a good job those third downs, keeping them low. And then um, I had Ballard open. I was I literally hit A, but I I couldn't get it off. Instead, I got sacked. And then here, Kibanuka takes a bad angle, and lets Mike Vick run, which. Didn't sit well with me. I'm like completely pissed off right now. And then watch this. Like, LaShawn <laughs> McCoy, even though I'm about to go down 13 points here, I have to appreciate that play LaShawn McCoy did. No, let's take another look at it. Look at this thing. Like, but what are my safeties? Absolutely. They, they had to go to the hospital to repair their ankles after that. 
They'll be back soon. I miss a wide open Travis. Well, Eli Manny misses a wide open Travis back up. That got me mad. Then um, I see X is running wide open, so I'm like, I, I was thinking for a second, should I throw it to Cruz? And I did anyways to see what happened. I didn't think Eli had the arm strength to still throw it ahead, and he didn't. But but I, I was going to try to rocket catch. I never ever rocket catch. I, I don't know how to do it. I don't care to know how to do it. But I was going to try it, and um, oh, come on. I think that's Kenny Phillips again that could have gotten the pick. Like, like I said, he was not doing that good. And then look at this, another holding penalty. Like, come on, where's his holding penalties, man? But, um, yeah, that's a huge touchdown. Now I'm down four. I make a stop on him. So all of a sudden, that momentum comes back to my side. Look at this score, 35-39. Like, I don't take place in games like these often at all. This is, like, the highest scoring game I've ever taken a part of in Madden 12. And then, whoa, Mario Manningham, he tried to pick it. He kind of messed that up. Very next play, a mod rash shot in. That momentum, man, that momentum. All of a sudden, I'm up three. I came out of nowhere after being down 11. Whatever whatever happened to me, man. All of a sudden, I come back. Hey, Chris Candy gets the fumble. What kind of... That is momentum at its finest. Good plays at its finest. And, of course, I know he's going to blitz, so I dump it off in the backfield to brash out. But he does not get the first down, which is all right with me. Got I run clock. Get a huge, huge um, third down here, but of course he gets an in he gets. Of course, Jason Babbing is injured. That's not good for him, but he gets an injury timeout without having to use a timeout. Like that's big, because now he got a touchdown the very next play, and he's got enough clock here to um, get a touchdown really fast, and um, you know, um, just get let me get the ball and make a stop and all that. And he's got Mike Vick going. Nothing I can do about that. Um, he had, Lashawn McCoy, like you see, he had a ton of yards, only nine carries. And um, here he's going for a screen. He got out of bounds before my guy could tackle. And then it's Kenny Phillips that missed the tackle. Then um, here he's trying to get another screen, I think. I'm not really sure. But Pierre Paul makes a huge play. It's like his first tackle in the whole game. Then on second and 21, I'm not really sure what Kenny Phillips is doing. That's a cover four. But he decides he's going to let Jeremy Macklin get over him. And I tried to cover up, but I couldn't. So... That goes all over for a touchdown, and we're back down three. That's a huge play because Ahmad Bradshaw almost got pushed out of bounds, but Namdi keeps him inbounds. Second down, I throw back to Bradshaw again because, like I said, I know he's just going to blitz me straight up, so I took it. And then on um, first down, I tried to do an outside run, but I probably did not go as outside as I could have. I probably should have cut um, by that guy Beckham. And then Beckham's playing my um, fullback position for God knows what reason, so that that was that. <laughs> that's, that's another stop play because he didn't block him. Well, it was safety. So then third down, I call a fader out against Namdi Asamoah. And I get picked. <laughs> no, that is not what I wanted. I wanted to do a fader out and just get a cheap completion. I did not expect to get picked off there. I didn't even think fader outs could possibly get picked off. But now all of a sudden, he only needs to get about 20 yards, 15 yards to get in the field goal range. And that was almost the game ending pick right there. Chase Blackburn almost made another huge play. And now... I get a huge sack, not a sack, it's 4th down 13, Pierre Paul makes another huge play in the screen, but he gets it, look at that fucking angle by Kenny Phillips, now all of a sudden he's in business, now all of a sudden he's thinking field goal, but I knew my man was thinking touchdown, so now all of a sudden I'm in defend the touchdown mode as much as I am defend the field goal mode, and he doesn't have any timeouts left, so remember that as he's running down the clock here, 21 seconds left and 2nd down 2 in the red zone, 14 yards away, and I pick it off, and I pick it off, and I pick the fucking ball off. And that's the game. Go out of bounds, Greg Jones. Take a knee, Eli. And let's get out of here. This was Giants and Eagles at its finest. An explosive, high-scoring game. You, you could tell I did not like him during the game. He did not like me. Of course, he doesn't send me a good game message. But I wasn't expecting it. I mean, it was, it was a bitter game between us. It was a good game. I can't even say it's a good game. I'm, it's a, it was a bad game if I didn't win the game, but it's a good game because I won the game. And um, I, I realized, I, I just realized while I was trying to play this game, how hard it will be to play the Giants because now a lot of people are probably going to be like, oh, the Giants are like rated 9. I didn't, I didn't realize the Giants were rated 90 until I started playing that game. And it was all of a sudden like two people left the lobby when I threw the Giants. I'm like, oh, shit. So, yeah, I my Giants are going to be hard to um, get in the lobbies now. But I did get this one guy. This is the original hype team, the Eagles, of course. The original hype team coming into this year beat them and i'll take the win super bowl champion giants get it done again and i'll see you guys next time i'll see you guys next time